Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Vocast. I'm your host, Drew. Got yet another reaction and analysis today. This is one was very highly requested after I did my very first Dimash reaction and analysis. We're going to be reacting to another piece of his, or another performance of his. This one is going to be to Sinful Passion. Um, this was by far the most recommended song to cover from him, so... Seeing how the I got a massive response on the last of Monster video, I saw fit to do a, another video relatively soon after it. So, <clears throat> with that said, we're going to dive right in. We're going to do the full reaction without stopping for that portion. And then we'll give you a brief pause. And <laughs> I can't talk today. And then we'll move into the vocal analysis portion of the video where I evaluate his... Uh, his vocal techniques, his, the way he attacks the notes, the way he's singing, etc. So with that said, we're going to dive right in and uh, get our hands dirty in this performance of Sinful Passion. Alright folks, so we are prepped and ready to go for this reaction and analysis. So with that said, we are going to jump in. Like I said, no pausing or stopping in this performance. So make sure I'm still recording. Yep, we are good. Let's dive in folks. Казахстан всегда гордился и гордится своими талантами. Сейчас на сцену выйдет представитель уже нового поколения казахстанских звезд. Парень, раньше нас, друзья, с вами понял, где больше зрителей поехал в Китай. И, между прочим, там, внимание, победил в проекте «Голос». В Китае человек из Казахстана победил с хитом А студио «Грешная любовь». Впервые на новой волне. Прорыв года. Димаш Кудайбергенов. С песней «Грешная страсть». Ты явилась нежданно, Как из лунного сна. Если б знала ты, что мне нужна только ты одна. Very intimate singing. Very intimate. Линии долгие лили. Были ночи без сна. Mon Dimash. Here we go. <laughs> Back to the breathier tone. It's going to pick up. I'm sure of it. Clean. Super clean. Very beautiful riff there. Mm. 
Most of this has been in full chest so far. That may be a chest head mix there. Maybe. Not 100% sure yet. F5 and then A5. G5. G flat. 5. That's a B6. That is a B6, folks. That's a B6. Very nice head voice there, man. E4. A full on rock belt, B flat five. Ooh. No, I'm sorry, earlier, by the way, it was a B5, but that was a B flat five right there. Wow. Rock belt to finish it off. Wow. Nyt spasibo. My Russian is terrible, but nyt spasibo. Thank you. That was a magnificent performance, folks. That is just crazy. That is crazy. It's no wonder there's all those flowers going to him at the end. <sighs> okay, so that was the um, that was the reaction portion of the uh, video. Now we're gonna dive into the vocal analysis portion of the video. So, give you uh, just a few seconds, and I will see you in the next portion. All right, folks. So this come this brings us to the vocal analysis portion of the video where. I break down his vocal techniques, what he sounds like, and why he's choosing to sound like this, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So, we're going to start back off at the beginning again, and then I'm going to try to show you as many trinkets as I can in his techniques and singing. Here we go. So this piece appears to be the traditional, it appears to be the traditional serenade, um, where a man is singing to a woman or about a woman in one capacity or another in a passionate way. So <clears throat> his technique going into this is very, it, he's got a light mechanism in the sense that it's very intimate, very light, introducing a lot of breath into the sound. <clears throat> he's doing this to obviously give it that intimate feel, give it the passionate feel. But it's also, it also goes along with the fact that you don't want to start off an intimate piece like this, a slow piece like this with a lot of volume or anything like that. So. <coughs> <coughs> I 
There's a little bit of a vocal fry scoop there. Yep. Yep. So he, he starts off that note with a touch of vocal fry. That's another thing that a lot of people will uh, do whenever they're singing in the studio to give a little bit of a... Well, this isn't in a studio performance, but he's doing this live. But this is something that a lot of people will do when they're singing to induce a little bit more passion. You add a little bit of vocal uh, fry at the touch, a touch of vocal fry at the beginning of the notes. <clears throat> His pitch control is immaculate, especially live. Like, of course, there's probably a little bit of pitch control being... There's probably some pitch correction happening somewhere, perhaps in some software on computers that are not on not on camera. But if you were to take this performance aside and remove any live pitch correction that's happening, then <clears throat> I'm sure he would still do totally fine. He's just got... He's a very balanced, or he's a very well-rounded singer. He can do just about everything pretty well. Jack of all trades. But um, as far as pitch control is concerned, immaculate. I don't know for sure if this performance has pitch correction happening live, but I would imagine so considering it's a like a TV show. <clears throat> More vocal fry scoops there. <clears throat> He's almost whispering right now, and this just further adds to what I was saying earlier with the song being intimate and giving it a giving it a very passionate feel it's you know you can feel he's he's getting into it he's leaning into it not only with like how he's moving his body but he's also just he's almost whispering and <clears throat> when you're introducing that much air into the vocal tract when you're singing it's it sounds very hushed very whisper like and it, it's almost like you're talking either to someone very that you really love or you're talking to yourself about something that you if it sounds like you're talking to either someone you love intimately or it also sounds like you could be talking to yourself about something you know having a conversation with yourself like what am i doing you know you know that's that's kind of what i mean but <clears throat> That's the effect that that gives. It makes it feel so incredibly passionate whenever you... And all you have to do is just add a little bit of air to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That A2 there. Uh, so, but the with his timber and the quality of that A2 there... I'm starting to think that Mr. Dimash here is a low tenor because <clears throat> he's able to belt up into the fifth octave, no problem. So my theory is that he's a low tenor. He could be an actual tenor, but it's hard to say so far. I mean, he's got a. I mean, he's got that B two also. Ooh. I mean, we saw that in the last video that we did covering Dimash, but. I'm still getting the ropes of his full chest range. For those of you that have been calling out the fact that he has an 8 octave range, that is not a full-blown chest range. That I can guarantee you that because no human can sing in the 8th octave and the 0 octave. No human being has ever done that and no human being will ever be able to do that. So he's singing in those octaves with extended techniques and he's using his normal chest voice. He's using chest head voice mix. He's using a full head voice, but using the whistle register. I don't know what uh, lower extended techniques he uses yet, but 
He definitely does use them if people are claiming he can sing in the zero octave and in the eighth octave, supposedly. So, <clears throat> all that aside, though, I think I lost track of what I was trying to say. So, let me listen for a couple seconds and then I'll try to remember what I was going to originally say. So, oh yeah, I was talking about the quality of that A2 and, and his voice classification. So, as far as his chest range... It's he. It sounds like he can go clean into the fifth octave without having any issues, but as far as I can tell, he's gonna have to start mixing in with his head voice somewhere in the fit in the fifth octave. I'm gonna have to listen closer to see where he's putting this mix in. It's really really difficult to tell with Dimash though because <clears throat> he's um, got such a strong chest head voice mix. It's really hard to tell where. He transitions over to chest head mix and full head voice because he's got the transition down. So, I mean, if you got the transition down, you'll blur the lines. Yeah. <clears throat> forgive my operatic attempts there. I am not an opera singer whatsoever, so forgive me for that. But... It's super, super clean. So he's just sitting there with a natural, strong vibrato, and it's just, ah, and mine was nowhere, mine will never be as clean as his, but his, his operatic training and his just singing or vocal training in general has led to this, to these moments like this. And, and that is the very reason why he's able to have such a strong, clean tone whenever he's doing that natural vibrato. It sounds gorgeous. I mean, there's no other way to put it. And now he's starting to pick up in volume and he's decreasing the amount of breathiness or the amount of breath that's coming through his notes in this portion to, like I said, build intensity, build some volume. That way we have somewhere to go with the piece that he's singing. And he had a little bit of a cleaner... A2 there. I'll show you. It had some decent closure there. I want to see. I'm going to listen very closely to that A2 and then we'll move on. I don't know. He could... I'm starting to question my uh, my thoughts of him being a low tenor because tenors don't always have that qu that strong of an A2. They'll definitely have some notes at into the second octave, but they won't be quite that strong. So he very well could just be a high baritone. Right now, that's, that's my official stamp. Like, for Dimash, I... I think that he's a high baritone, low tenor. He's somewhere in between, somewhere in between, and I'm torn between the two at the moment. If there's any like music scholars out there that are more knowledgeable in voice classification that can perhaps give a better classification, then uh, drop your thoughts in the comments. But my thought is that he's somewhere between high baritone, low tenor. <clears throat> Back to an intimate feel here. More breath. Better vocal fold closure here, less breath. Very nice A4 there. Listen to those riffs. Those are really clean. Listen to that. Mm -hmm. 
very, very clean riff right there. And he did it with natural vibrato too. And that's difficult to do. If you want to riff and you want to do it with vibrato on each note and you want to do it that fast, that just takes talent, man. It takes a lot of hard work to be able to do it. Because whenever you're doing... Whenever you're singing with natural vibrato, your voice is going to naturally move up and down. That's what it, that's what gives it the wavy like feel. So, so if I were to sing a, just a random note right now, and you you'll see the you'll kind of hear the waves going in and out. And I'm I'm not gonna try to modify the pitch at all or do anything crazy. So you see how the the note naturally moves up and down. That's what's happening here, but he's allowing it to move up and down while he's riffing. And it still does and it doesn't sound muddy. It's very precise. It's just crazy, man. They, this is just This is this man is talented. The attack that he has on these notes right here. It's very punchy. So it's like, boom, boom. So he's singing with a lot of upfront articulation and volume, vocal fold closure to give it a boo kind of feel. So he's decrescendoing very quickly from the top of the note as he's singing. So he's go ba. Uh, sorry guys it is pouring rain at my house right now so i was just making sure like nothing was crazy outside or nothing like wind and blowing crazy or limbs falling and stuff um but yeah i mean he, the attack on these notes is very up front in your face and then he decrescendos very quickly musical contrast vocal contrast that was a a4 operatic there very very clean b4 and right now he's got a he's more of a He's got more volume, more, more closure, less breath like he was earlier. But from this point on, there's pretty much no breathy sections. I might be eating my words here in a minute for that. But he is hes using the volume to his advantage. And he's using the less breath in his notes to his advantage to keep his audience entertained. Like I said, musical contrast, vocal contrast. <laughs> That's an F5 operatic. I believe that's in a, ch a chest head voice mix. Don't quote me on that though. You can fact check that. E5, A5. Okay, this, yeah, this is definitely a chest head voice mix. G5. G flat five. That is a B five, ladies and gentlemen. That is a B five from a male voice. That's going to be one hundred percent full head voice because it's it's just no. I mean, he with the way his lower range sounds, he's not going to have. He's not going to have that high of a range in full chest because that's just physically not possible no no human has ever pretty much no human has ever had that wide of a chest range and i mean there are definitely tenors that can sing in the second octave all the way to the fifth octave in chest no problem but 
I don't think that there's very many tenors, if any, that can sing in the basically the sixth octave. The the B B five is a half step away from the sixth octave. <clears throat> And there's just no way that Dimash here can sing into the sixth octave without a chest head voice mix or a full on head voice. But that doesn't mean he's any less talented at it. I mean, there's something to be said for his technique. There's something to be said for his head voice, the way it sounds. There's something to be said for the transition he makes between head chest voice mix and full on head voice. And just his regular chest voice. It's pretty much seamless. And that's what makes him such a strong singer. The combo of how his pitch control, his his technique, the way he smack or he like he hits the notes out of the park. The reason he does that, it's because I mean, all of this stuff adds together, and this is why he's so good at singing, is He's got a strong chest head voice mix. He's got a strong head voice. He's also got a very strong upper chest range. 100%. Like, there is no doubt he is among the best singers in the world. This is not subjective. This is objective. Dimash is one of the strongest singers in the entire world. In history, even. He's just... He is just absolutely unreal. All of these things coming together into one singer you'll find people that have really good head voice or just a really good chest voice or who's incredibly good at extended techniques or but to have someone that is this good at all of this you they're destined for success so well done we got a little bit longer and then we're almost done there's a b5 again it's a b5 from a male I'm not sure what uh, he's doing there. I don't know what that's called. I feel like that's a vocal technique more seen in uh, Middle Eastern music, but we can fact check that. <clears throat> Operatic. <clears throat> Sounds good. That was a nice downward riff. Hello. Let's listen to that riff again. That was a bad imitation, but... D5. That's an E5. That is a B flat 5 to an A5. Listen to all those riffs. I'm not going to stop and evaluate that because I don't have time to, but listen to this again. Holy crap. Rock belt, full on head voice in... He's he's full... He's rock belting up to a B flat 5 in, I believe, chest head voice mix. Or, I mean, it could be, it could also just be head voice, but that is ridiculous. That It was ridiculously clean in itself. He's just rock belting super hard, and then he riffs down too. I mean, do you see how precise he is with these, with this downward riff? It's disgusting how good this is. Like, this is in, this is just cr incredible. I'm not even going to try to imitate in, in, to imitate that because that is just that is just inhuman. Riffs back up to a B flat 4. He's just all over the place with this, these riffs. God. More riffing. Riffs for days. Sheesh. I 
I'd give a standing ovation, but it would throw off the camera. Spasiba, Dimash. Spasiba. That was incredible, folks. Um, when you get this many worlds, when you get this many things like coming together, meshing together in one singer, then there's just, you're not, that singer is going to succeed in their music career. They are, they are meant to sing if they have really good pitch control, they have really good technique, they have that wide of a range, they have that much control in their, their pure head voice, their head chest voice mix, all that stuff. If you've got a singer that is just that talented with all those things running around inside him, the, all those abilities running inside, of, running around inside of him, he or she is going to succeed 100%. Guaranteed. Assuming that they're in touch with the right people, of course, and they recognize the talent, but that's a conversation for another day. So... What a performance, folks. Um, this was a very highly requested performance from Dimash, and hopefully I can uh, do more in the future. I know you guys are really, really digging the Dimash content, so there will be more where this came from. So that brings us to the end of this video. If you liked it and you're new to the channel, I, pray, I hope that you will hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, if you're a subscriber already and you're looking to take your contribution to the channel one step further, I would encourage you to check out the Patreon to the channel. You can support me as for as little as $3 a month. Your contribution will ensure that I continue being able to put out these videos every day. And plus, you'll get wonderful benefits such as having your name at the end of every video like this one. And we'll also have access to a patreon only community where you'll get to converse with me privately about also also about other potential uh, reaction ideas video ideas people to have on the on podcast etc basically you'll get closer you'll get to where you'll be at a closer point with interacting with me and i will do my best to show my thanks to you for supporting me if you so choose to go down that road so with that said this has been Drew of, from the Vocast. I love you. Take care of yourselves. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.